Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Mike Trotis, Bible teacher and preacher. You've tuned into my YouTube channel, Solving the Prophetic Puzzle. This is a special Saturday morning teaching. This is something that just happened to me a few hours ago. This will not take the place of Sunday evening's teaching and Thursday evening's teaching. This is a special one. This is an extra one. And it's talking, I want to talk to you today for just a minute about what I see as we are drawing closer and closer to a cashless society. Uh, my regular Saturday morning routine is pretty predictable. I wake up Saturday morning, I treat myself to a McDonald's or maybe Bojangles or someplace. I, I treat myself to a, a fast food breakfast. Then I go to the dollar store where I buy a few items. Then I go to the grocery store where I, where I buy my items for that week um, for, for meal prep. And then to top off my Saturday morning adventure, I go to the tractor supply and I walk around there and look at various things. Then I go home. And that's my Saturday morning. Except this Saturday morning, it was a little bit different. As I went into the dollar store, I began to look around and there were no cashiers. None whatsoever. The store manager was at the, was at the front and he was talking to people about how the store has now gone to a position of no cashiers. It's all self-checkout. He was explaining that other stores are doing this, that it's, it's more economical, it's, it's more cost efficient. Um, it prevents people from calling out sick and then they don't have anyone to replace them. And it's hard to find uh, work, uh, somebody willing to work at these stores. So he says, so we've gone to this self-checkout. He says other stores are doing this as well. Big stores are doing this. In fact, some of the really big stores are going to do it, but they're waiting for after Christmas, and then they're going to go to self-checkout. And so I began to strike up a conversation with him, and I said, yeah, I understand what you're saying. I mean, if you schedule somebody to work, and then they call out the last minute, you really got a problem. He goes, yep, we've solved that. And I said to him, I said, well, what about cash? Do you think that uh, stores will continue to want to use cash and continue to use it? And he said, no, many stores don't even want to mess with cash. He says there's a lot going on with cash and it's just an extra step in the whole process. He goes, the credit card companies as well are behind the scenes pushing that, that um, stores use um, and, and encourage people to use their credit and debit cards. It's all about convenience, he was telling me. He says, people don't want to, to, to uh, be inconvenienced in any way whatsoever. He says, after all, some people, most people, don't even reach into their wallet to take out a credit card. They simply take their phone and they swipe it over this little, little piece of machine right here, and the transaction is done. They've bought their items. They, they've had their... Um, their cash has been taken out of their bank or, or applied to their credit card, and they move on. Very seamless, no, no, no inconvenience. Everything's moving in that direction. So I said, I understand, and maybe I played my hand a little bit too, too far out there, but I said, let me ask you something. What would you think about having a microchip implanted inside your hand so that you could simply walk over there? and swipe your hand, and then you wouldn't even have to worry about your having your phone, or you wouldn't have to worry about having a credit or debit card. You could just swipe your hand. He says, yeah. He says, I could see that happening. He says, there are countries right now that do not use cash whatsoever, and everyone is required to have, take a, have a card, and on it is their ID and their personal information and their banking information, and they transact biz business like that. So yeah, I could see that in the future. And I said, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. And so I went ahead, paid cash, waited for the machine to give me my change, and then I left. But as I was walking to my car, I thought about this Bible verse. As we're drawing closer and closer to the Lord's return, we are seeing Bible prophecy be fulfilled in greater and greater degrees all the time. And this one is what uh, talks about the mark of the beast. This will happen during the Great Tribulation period. In a Revelation chapter 13, verses 16, we read, He, meaning the Antichrist, causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads that no one can buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. 
Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. We aren't there yet, but we are seeing things come together, drawing closer and closer to a time when we will not be we will not be using cash. We will be using credit cards or debit cards or or some other form of currency. And as we draw closer and closer to this, as we see the mark of the beast uh, before us, we can rest assured that Jesus Christ is coming soon. That's the whole reason why I wanted to share this uh, little message today. When we see Bible prophecy be fulfilled right before our eyes, we can be encouraged. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. There is an event called the rapture, and it's going to happen in the very near future. So like I say all the time, keep looking up. Jesus Christ is coming soon. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday night as I continue to talk about the rapture. See you then.